He is a small anorexic looking model. That's who Athlean X is. And that's fine, but stop lying to these people about realistic body fat percentages and standards, especially for athletic populations. Any athlete on a team who watches Jeff Cavalier and they get all cut up and shredded, their performance is going to decrease. And then their coach is going to say, what's going on? And they're like, I watched Athlean X. It's a mirage. Chest up. Shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody, where we are saving the fitness industry from suffocating on its own BS. And the time has come once again for me to educate the ignorant masses of what actual fitness is. Ah, shit. Here we go again. And today we're going to talk about Athlean recent Instagram post regarding body fat and why it is not only delusional, but also misleading and why, once again, it is one of the contributors to the mass body dysmorphia in the fitness space, especially among young men. And Jeff Cavalier, or as we call him on this channel, Jeff Copalier, he does nothing on his channel now but conflate cosmetics with actual athletics. He loves to say things like, if you want to look like an athlete, you got to train like an athlete, and putting the science back in strength, and all these nice buzzwords and phrases but whenever you actually break down his content and a lot of his views, especially on the leanness topic, you come to realize that uh, he doesn't offer a whole lot of good. The mainstream fitness industry, of which Jeff is an integral part today, is so toxic that most lifters develop body dysmorphia before they even develop five pounds of muscle. That's how bad this is. So according to this post he put on Instagram, I'm not gonna put up the full caption, it just basically said, you can tell in the mirror a lot of the time what your general body fat is with only your eyes, you don't need a body fat test. But as you can see in this photo, he has the athlean range from 5% up to 10%. And there has been some contention over this because people will say, oh, he says athlean, he might just be talking about himself. No. He would say my range or athlean X's apostrophe range. He says athlean. So the implication of this post is that people that watch him should be striving for or maintaining to look like an athlete 5 to 10% body fat. And I'm here to tell you that's a crock of shit. This may come as a shock to a lot of you fanboys, but... Jeff Cavalier does not look like an athlete. He looks like a fitness model. That is far different from being an actual athlete. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this is the distinction Jeff fails to make and what he misleadingly intentionally lies about. He conflates cosmetics with actual athletics. Jeff, if he actually stepped on a playing field in a contact sport, now again, he's older, he's not training for anything. This is a hypothetical, okay? If he took contact on a playing field, he would evaporate. He would turn into dust. They'd be carting him off in five seconds. He's essentially one level above a contest bodybuilder shape year round. And he does this in his mid forties, which quick aside, that's why he's not natural. He is in his mid forties and stays at 8% body fat annually. He requires steroids to literally function as a person. If he was actually natural given those statistics, his natural test would absolutely be crashed and he would lose much of his muscle mass. Studies done on young competitive natural bodybuilders find that their testosterone levels by the time it's showtime for them and they cut down, they're that of an elderly man. And they only cut for what, three to four months? Jeff has been this lean for 10 freaking years. You need to wake up. And speaking of lies, Jeff Cavalier is also the same man who has been caught red-handed multiple times using fake weights. Are you noticing a trend here? And this is just more evidence to my point about cosmetic versus athletic. Because Jeff Cavalier used the fake weights for this exact reason. He is too lean and too ripped to lift the weight he wants his audience to think he can actually lift. Even with the addition of PEDs, guys, somebody his age and his body fat percentage is not eating enough food to gain appreciable muscle or strength. Jeff has mirror muscles, he's got the pecs and the biceps and the abs, but if you turn him to the side, he's a Ticonderoga pencil. He has very little posterior chain muscle and strength built. And we saw this whenever he tried to cover his ass with that 425 deadlift. Instead of 500 for a few, he magically now can only do 425 with a belt and while cat backing it. That alone proves my point. He does not have the legitimate muscle and strength built that athletes do to perform at a high level. 
That's why the fake weights were implemented in the first place. And then he's gonna come online and he says this in all his videos, not just this one post, that you're gonna get big and strong while cutting down and staying really lean with the abs. Greg Doucette says this same exact thing. They're like the Spider-Man pointing at each other meme. I mean, if you really think about it, Greg Doucette is just Athlean X with a little bit more drama and a pro card. So not only does Jeff lie about his natural status, not only does he use fake weights repeatedly, not only does he lie to his audience and tell them that they're going to get big and strong and stay really lean, you noticing what's going on here? This lie and this mirage he puts on is precisely why he's so profitable. Beginners in the fitness space, just like I was when I started, I used to watch all his stuff too. How do you think I know this? They watch him and think, oh my god, Jeff is really cut up and ripped and he's older than me. And look at him, he deadlifts all that weight and he's this strong and this and that. It's a mirage. He's selling you a dream, taking your money, and laughing all the way to the bank. And to his credit, he's got a good setup, right? He reels you in with the muscle markers and the abs and all the terminology, the whiteboard. He trains WWE wrestlers twice a year. He used to work for the New York Mets, so he's got the credentials, right? He comes off as credible. But you guys have to realize this, just because somebody has letters after their name, they worked in a professional capacity, just because they have a lot of subscribers, that does not mean they're telling you the truth. So naturally, his audience is going to take his advice. They're going to try to stay lean like him. They're barely going to make any progress. They're going to spin their wheels. Then they're going to look up what they're doing wrong. And then he's got pre-workout and post-workout and all these supplements to sell you. Just like a typical fitness hustler. He lies about what works. You plateau continually. Then you get dependent on his programs, his supplements, whatever he's selling to you to make just a little bit of progress until you inevitably discover that, hey, Something must be wrong. I've been making no progress for six months, a year, two years, five years, however long it is until you leave the matrix. But that is the marketing plan and kind of the system of these kind of scammers. So without further ado now, let's actually look at some professional athletes. Let's see where these athletes stack up on the Athlean X body fat chart and see if they're in the Athlean range. But before we continue, ladies and gentlemen, it's the algorithm. So we'll just run through these. First, we can look at LeBron James here, the most famous basketball player in the world. You can make the argument he's the GOAT. I'm not a huge NBA fan, but you can't deny his success. Where do you think LeBron stays relatively? Probably in the 11 to 12, maybe up to 13, 14% range. So he's not in the Athlean range. Now let's look at Kurt Angle. Back in his prime, mind you, when he won the Olympic gold medal with a broken freaking neck in 1996. And we can see these pictures of him here. He is not in the 5 to 10% range either. He, once again, is probably in the 13 to 15% range. Maybe a little serrated showing relatively lean, right? It's not like he's really fat. Like Athlean X and Doucette will lead you to believe that you're somehow fat if you don't have shredded abs or visible abs, but that's what it is. And this guy won an Olympic gold medal at that body fat. We'll keep going here. Oh, we can look at Tyson Fury, also in a fighting sport and boxing. He is definitely not very lean. Now he did lose a lot of weight, but even so, he is a professional boxer. He's not this huge, massive hulking guy, right? He is probably in the, what, 19% range, maybe around 20, something like that. That's interesting. Maybe now look at Mike Trout of the Angels in the MLB. Once again, where are the shredded abs? This is an elite athlete, right? Where are the shredded abs, Jeff? This guy must be slow and out of shape, right? Only has like the richest contract in the MLB at the moment. Again, these are going to be variable guys, but these athletes are not in the super shredded 5 to 7 or 8 to 10 percent range like Athlean X would purport you to believe. You can also look at Olympic weightlifters. Depending on the weight class, the heavyweights are going to carry a bit more body fat, generally speaking. But even the smaller guys, most of them are not going to be extremely shredded. They're going to be around, once again, probably 13 to 15, maybe 12%. But you see what I'm saying, right? The overwhelming majority of professional athletes, no matter the sport, are not going to be in this cosmetic ripped up bodybuilding stage 5 to 10% range. Who do you have in this range? Maybe some cyclists some elite marathon runners, some sprinters, which shocker, they do cardio all the time. A few wide receivers or cornerbacks in football, 
Once again, they're focused more on speed and agility than power or strength in their position. And you can even look at soccer or football players. This is a picture of Lionel Messi. He's pretty lean, but once again, he's nowhere below probably 12%, but he's not 8%. I mean, these guys who I just listed all of these athletic positions, they do enough cardio to power an entire city. It's no surprise they're that lean given how much they run. And even most of them are not going to be seven, eight, nine percent body fat. The overwhelming majority of athletes, no matter the sport, cannot perform at their best, they cannot recover at their best, and they cannot build on their strength and power output at their best at these really ripped body fat levels, the same ones that Athlean next stays at year round. But he comes online and he's been doing this for years now, what, a decade plus? And wants to tell you that you're gonna be able to bench 315 and deadlift 500 pounds at that body fat percentage, at his weight. You guys have to understand this. You cannot be fooled by the smoke and mirrors and the perfect editing and the thumbnails and the lighting. And he's gonna go on YouTube and say he weighs 196 pounds allegedly, which is absolutely ludicrous. There's no way Athlean X weighs anything more than 170, and that is a stretch. Just because he steps on a scale, guys, he can easily be holding dumbbells or sandbags in his hand when he steps on the scale. Like I told you, he has no posterior chain size or strength. He is a small anorexic looking model. That's who Athlean X is, and that's fine, but stop lying to these people about realistic body fat percentages and standards, especially for athletic populations. Any athlete on a team who watches Jeff Cavalier and they get all cut up and shredded, they're going to get hurt in their season. Their performance is going to decrease. And then their coach is going to say, what's going on? And they're like, I watched Athlete X. Anybody with legitimate experience, I'm talking years of experience in the lifting game, in athletics events, competitions, whatever it is, they know maintaining Jeff Cavalier's body fat percentage for long is not feasible. It's not really healthy without additional supplementation. Wink, wink. And it's really just not achievable for most people. And the fanboys are still going to deny this because you guys have only been lifting for two months. You think he's a genius and you buy his push-pull leg program or whatever. And you say, oh, well, Jeff Cavalier's got abs and Jesse and whatever. I'm trying to open your eyes to the reality, guys. Once you have been spinning your wheels for the next six months to a year, come back to this channel and apologize to me in the comments. I happily await your apology because I know you're going to do nothing but spin your wheels just like I did when I followed Jeff Cavalier. So thank you for watching, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you want to see next down below, and I will catch you next time.